uh, we we will go across to Jairam Ramesh uh, on the way out to a short break. शायद की तब ईसीआई ने कार्रवाई की तो हम उम्मीद करते हैं कि ईसीआई जो एक संवैधानिक संस्था है निष्पक्ष संस्था है इस तरीके से स्थानीय प्रशासन पर दबाव नहीं डालना चाहिए सर अपने कार्यकर्ताओं से भी कुछ आप लोगों ने अपने नहीं, नहीं, नहीं कोई हताश होने की कोई जरूरत नहीं है निराश होने की कोई जरूरत नहीं है तीन साढ़े बजे तक काउंटिंग सेंटर पर वो रहे टिके रहे तो ना ये खेल खत्म नहीं हुआ है ये सब मनोवैज्ञानिक खेल है ये माइंड गेम्स चल रहा है इससे हम हटेंगे नहीं ये कोई निराश होने की कोई कारण नहीं है हमें जनादेश मिलने वाला है कांग्रेस की सरकार बनने वाली है वी आर वी आर फाइलिंग अ कंप्लेंट वी हैव अकॉर्डिंग देर आर एटलीस्ट एट सीट्स इन विच काउंट इलेवन राउंड ऑफ काउंटिंग आर ओवर and the congress is in the lead but that is not being reflected in the eci website that is not being reflected in all the channels that are showing the results so this is a subtle way uh, of uh, the union home minister uh, using the eci to put pressure on the local administration the eci is a constitutional body it's an independent body it should function independent these are mind games psychological games our workers should stay they should be in the counting centers till 3 o'clock till 4 o'clock the game is not over the poll results have not been completed as yet the clear mandate will come in favor of the congress these are all attempts may being made to vitiate the atmosphere and to put pressure on the local administration do you say that's why the bjp is saying that we are all the same we are forming the government we are there is no way that the bjp can form the government the people of haryana want change ग्राउंड रिपोर्टर्स आर नॉट ऑल्सो इन डे हेलो इलेक्शन कमीशन सोर्सेस रिस्पोंडिंग सेइंग कांग्रेस हैड मेड द सेम चार्जेस ऑन द 4th ऑफ जून ऑन द डे ऑफ काउंटिंग ऑफ द लोकसभा रिजल्ट्स एंड सेम चार्ज बीइंग मेड टुडे अनफॉर्चूनेट बट द फैक्ट इज दैट इन एवरी राउंड 14 टेबल्स 10000 अप्रोक्सिमेट वोट्स दैट आर काउंटेड एंड वंस the gaps between uh, the uh, uh, you know candidates uh, and the leads consolidate become larger uh, you know their numbers don't quite change and that's what we are seeing happening in haryana that's what we are seeing happening in jammu and kashmir uh, no conspiracy happening here as far as the election commission is concerned and what they are saying is uh, if uh, their uh, approach today they will give the same uh, response as they did at 2 pm on the 4th of june uh, their their stand remains the same that the counting is taking place under rule 60 of uh, the representation of people's act and uh, that is the manner in which uh, votes are proceeding and siddharth can you can you just take a look at haryana how many rounds have been counted in some and are these numbers moving are they static uh, Uh, can you give us a sense uh, siddharth and also joining the broadcast is my colleague pranesh pranesh uh, big surprise uh, victory for the bjp in uh, haryana unlikely that these numbers are going to change much any more so uh, what do you think uh, uh, congress has snatched uh, uh, defeat. defeat from the teeth of victory that's what the commentary on social media is uh, you know many people including you know some of us uh, were thinking that by 10 30 we'll be in a position going by the exit poll projections we'll be in a position to call out elections but navita the cliff hanger that we've seen in uh, haryana and now overwhelmingly towards the bjp this surge is momentous for many reasons and i you just happened to it while we were coming into the studio and look karan you know the body language of mr huda really gave it away he said we are forming the government absolutely and navita said that a lot depends on body language and that if that is anything to go by the congress has considered the man they were thinking would help them win haryana absolutely. shoulders drooping already i think it's a very very embarrassing moment if you ask me for the congress party right from the morning i mean i remember pavan khera ji talking to navika ji and he was all set to distribute sweets and jalebis to prime minister also so i don't think he's he's able to digest what has just happened so it's 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 very embarrassing for them and it's a momentous victory for bjp pranesh three mandates 
this has never happened i mean in haryana to think of it the congress party after 10 years back in 2014 they were left with 20% vote share for bjp to pull this off after a somewhat of a setback in lok sabha where they lost five seats it's it's a miraculous turnaround and it's also a victory of development in a way i mean we had seen one crore ayushman cards and i had been reiterating this that ayushman cards in haryana is an absolute game changer it has saved so many lives it has cut down out of pocket medical expenses and these things matter so i'm i'm glad to see that something people have voted across caste lines on issues of development that was important to see for too many for much of the last 6 months we've seen this entire caste card being trumpeted by rahul gandhi you know the 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 traditional 36 biradri of haryana sidad what happened to that you know many people are also are uh, talking about the invisibility of uh, mr khatter during the bjp's campaign and how it was a deft maneuver by the bjp well uh, pranesh just to highlight why the response to the entire caste census pitch on the part of the congress party has been very lukewarm uh, in haryana let's take the example of mahindragarh now it is in mahindragarh where rahul gandhi perhaps made his most aggressive pitch uh, for a caste census in the mahindragarh constituency you do have uh, the congress candidate leading but not by much now mahindragarh constituency alone has approximately 75000 yadav voters now in that constituency mr rao dana singh of the congress party was leading just a short while back by approximately at least 1500 votes in the other constituency that is part of the mahindragarh district ateli it's not the congress that is leading it's not the bjp that is leading remember it is a constituency that has 1 lakh yadav voters it's instead the bahujan samaj party that is leading by a margin of almost 11000 votes there so that pretty much sums it up as far as the congress party is concerned it's very aggressive caste census pitch appears to not have had too many takers in the state of haryana including in districts which have a very strong yadav concentration and the over depend <coughs> inld vote share on its own besides the jjp could you just check out for me i will i will okay we will get back to that number but tehsin uh, is back with us so is mr ja tehsin what happened in haryana jalebi soggy ho gayi soggy jalebis you think so what not working for the so, so what we've learned from haryana is jalebi should always be had fresh <laughs> not 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 cold. but but look there are three or four things pranesh i want to bring to your uh, notice one is uh, dinkar's poem जब नाश मनुष्य पर छाता है पहले विवेक मर जाता है ओवर कॉन्फिडेंस डोंट बी ओवर कॉन्फिडेंट नंबर टू इफ दीज रिजल्ट्स होल्ड आई स्टिल थिंक कांग्रेस विल विन बट इफ दीज रिजल्ट्स होल्ड दे आर क्लोज द कांग्रेस पॉलिटिक्स वाज ऑलवेज अबाउट द अदर्स when you've left see mrs gandhi in nehru were the top congress leaders when you've left those politics and you're now doing a different type of politics i think it will affect you if if you're seeing bsp is leading and that's what uh, siddharth told us just now that means we've lost the dalit votes dalit who voted for us in new we are not leading which is a muslim vote the two p the two groups that have stood by congress through every turbulent uh, stage has been the dalits and the muslims but the congress it seems did not stand now, by them which is why you have what happened with kumari selija ji who's the tallest leader in haryana now I'm, now i i was on times now with navika ji met Three years ago, when Ashok Tawar ji was on air and had confronted him, Ashok Tawar ji had used language that was unacceptable for Mrs. Gandhi. Now, Jyoti Aditya ji left, R. P. N. Singh ji left, many people left the Congress. Someone attacked Rahul ji. No one's ever attacked Mrs. Gandhi. You know, Mrs. Gandhi has a stature yeah. in politics yeah. like Bajpay ji has. We yeah. don't attack her. In fact, in Smriti ji, that people condemned her. And Ashok Tawar ji attacked, and now he was back no, in the Congress. So, so when you 